All right, YouTube back here for round number four. Uh, we are currently 3-0, going, so, going good so far. We're on the draw, and we have a hand that I don't think is particularly great. Turn two, Mana Link, turn three, Tef. If I was in the play, I would probably keep this hand, but Mana Link, in a general sense, loses a lot of its power, uh, power when you're on the draw. And this hand's just kind of slow, and I, I tend to look for uh, Noble Hierarch hands when I'm on the draw. Well, if the first hand was bad, this hand's a lot worse, so I think I'm going to go to five. All right, this is definitely the best hand we've seen so far. I th think I'm just going to put back two lands and keep the second stone forge in case they have a removal spell for the first one. Let's see what we're up against. Basic planes. Okay. Looks like death and taxes, which could be good, could be bad. So let's... Get Temple Garden. Just play Heath and Pass. I think against Death and Taxes, the first equipment I always want to get is Batter Skull, because they have Skyclave Apparition to answer all the swords. And also, none of your swords get protection anyways, so. It's going to be pretty awkward if they play an Arbiter here. Yeah, Falia doesn't matter too much. So let's get. So I want to fetch two white sources in case they go uh, Violin, Arbiter, on uh, next turn, play Ghost Quarter. I want to make sure I have two white sources in play with the Stoneforge Mystic. So that being said, I think it's going to be Rogren Trium Temple Garden. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Yeah, I guess it could be that, like, Mono White Heliod deck. And I want to use my fetches aggressively, aggressively before they have Arbiter in play. That's why I'm fetching all of this. Get these fetches out of the way. Let's get Batter Skull first. Batter Skull is the one that they have the hardest time answering because they can't Skyclave it. It's probably a giver. That's fine. It's been good so far, Bolt. It's been good so far. We're currently 3-0. I know that the records the record isn't there like it usually is, but we are 3-0. This is game number one. Alright, so they have their own stone forge. This could get a little dicey. Hmm. Spell Queller. Alright, I can't really I can't really path to exile anything with meaningfully. Because I have to lead on path on giver, and then I don't have mana to do anything else. So I think I'm just gonna pass here with the intention of putting batter skull into play. And then next turn if I find a land, I can lead on path on this. And then if they target the germ token, maybe path the germ token, slam with my batter skull. So This is going to be awkward, though. Giver is really, really good for them. They may have a Skyclave here, so they probably take Vile up to three, because they didn't have a two drop, so... Could be a flicker. Oh, they kept it at two, so that's weird. They didn't Vile in a two drop, but also kept the Vile at two? It's kind of strange. I wonder what that means. And they're doing nothing. It's good for me. This could be like Violin, Arbiter, and Path Me? No? Okay. Noble Hierarch. Hmm. So that allows me to play Noble and Path. Hmm. So how does this go? I play Noble Hierarch, attack for five. They put in their Batter Skull. They block, give protection to the Germ Token. Then I guess I just let that go. And then I can end step path their Giver. I 
So I guess I just don't attack here. I do want to get the Snowball into play, though. But there's really no point in attacking, right? Just gives them four life for free. So I don't want to path now. Because they, they missed a land drop. So I want, I want to wait until their until they're end step to path. I'm fine taking one germ hit token, or germ token hit. So they do have a two drop now. It's an Arbiter. Oh. Well, now I can just path their Giver and they can't search. So I think I'm going to do that. And now they can't even really attack. I mean, I guess we can trade germ tokens, but... Because they could have Flicker Wisp. Flicker by germ token. That's not the best for me. But if they do that, then if I draw a land that's not a fetch land, I could just equip. I'm pretty sure if they attack, I would block. Yeah, see, so they don't even want to attack because they don't want to make that trade. That's a very good draw. <clears throat> so now I can just play land, attack for five. And if they want to trade, they have to put another creature in front. In which case, maybe I can path. Maybe they just take it. All right, fine with that. Um, I could play Stoneforge, but I have to pay two mana to search with the Arbiter, so I don't really want to do that. I think I'd rather just hold that Path and Queller. All right, so they're putting it in equipment. That's fine. I can let them sword hit me, or I let them sword equip. Uh, sure, that's fine. That doesn't do anything. So now if they sort up the germ token, I can just path it, and they can't search. They're sorting up the mind sensor. Okay, that's fine. So they're going to attack with mind sensor. I'm going to path it. Yeah, Arbiter is both players. question is, do I want to make this trade? I think the trade is good for me, because then I can just move my Batter Skull first. Just move Batter Skull to Stoneforge and then start attacking. And they don't really have the mana to do that. So I do think the trade is good for me. I guess it's not great if they have Flicker Wisp. Because they can flicker wisp their own batter skull. But I think this is good for me. I could even just cast Spell Queller here. And then just suit up the Spell Queller. Is that good? I actually kind of like that. Because they can't path me. They could have a flicker wisp. But if they have flicker wisp, I'm pretty sure they're targeting their own batter skull. Mana Link, not the best. I if I Batter Skull equip here, they Flicker Wisp, Blink the Spell Queller. Yeah, but I have this to Chump Block, right? So if they, if they sort up something, I can just Chump Block with the Stoneforge Mystic. So I think that's okay. I guess alternatively, I could just attack for three and then re put then put the Batter Skull back into play. Right? Is that better? Just attack them for three and then put my, and then pick up my batter skull, put it back into play. Maybe that's just better, actually. That's probably just better.
think this is good. All right, they didn't file on three. I still kind of feel like they might have Flicker Wisp. But I guess, yeah, maybe you're right, though. Maybe if they had Flicker Wisp, they would have just flickered their own Mind Sensor. Uh, okay, this is fine. So now I can just chump block with Stoneforge. Yeah, chump block with Stoneforge. And then the way that you want to do it is you want to hold control, activate Stoneforge, pick up Batter Skull. And this way, if they have a Skyclave Apparition, they can't respond to me picking up the Batter Skull and Skyclaving the Stoneforge. So hold control. Activate Stoneforge, pick up Batter Skull. Just so they can't respond to me picking up the Batter Skull and Skyclave my Stoneforge. Yeah, this is this is way better than Skyclave, so they can't just Skyclave the Spell Queller. Alright, so they didn't do anything. That is an interesting draw step. So what if I just start by attacking with both? I think what I might want to do this turn is Stoneforge pay for Arbiter and then just chump block the Thalia again with Stoneforge. Yeah, but then if I don't draw a land, I can't put the equipment into play. I could chump block with this with the Noble Hierarch, right? All right, so let's start by attacking and see what they do. I could end up just chump blocking the Thalia too with the germ token, which is not a horrible play. Because I could just play Omnath and chump block the Thalia with either germ or a Hierarch. Or I could go Stoneforge, pay for Arbiter, get Fire and Ice, and then Fire Ice up this. Hmm, I'm really not sure. My instinct is the Stoneforge. I'm gonna do that. I don't know if this is right, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. Well, we can't because of the Thalia. So if we chump block with Mystic, this costs four. We need six mana to be able to go sword equip. That's why I don't necessarily want to chump block with the Mystic. Because the sword Face up costs four mana because the Thalia. Which is the awkward part about this. <laughs> so they're going to send with Thalia. What happens if I chump block with Germ Token? Yeah, I don't like that as much. I'm going to chump block with Hierarch. It kind of sucks that they have a Ghost Quarter, but. What's up, Killer Germ? Yeah, we're back on this. Alright, I'm just going to go for the sword. I'm going to equip the Spell Queller, I think. And then attack with both. Kind of feels like they have a Flicker Wisp, though. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do against Flicker Wisp. It's weird. They've, they've had so many cards. I mean, this is the turn they're finally going to take an action, right? They haven't really had necessarily had to take an action the past couple of turns. Okay, they have Path. They have Path and Flicker Wisp. That's bad. Oh, my God. That's worst-case scenario. Well, now I'm just dead, right? Now they just attack, kill my stone forge. Yeah, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do against that. If they have those exact cards. I just don't know how I'm supposed to beat that. Harry with the raid. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate you. Welcome, everybody, from Harry's stream. All right. Anthony's good. 
I think that's it. Mana Link is just horrible against them. I need to keep in one of some of these guards. Five one them with inverted and up like close to optimum. Nice. Nice, nice. What is the least bad card in my sideboard against death and taxes? Honestly, it might just be timely reinforcements. <laughs> these cards are all bad. I don't have enough for this matchup. It feels really bad to bring in timely against them. Maybe I just keep in a couple mana leaks. Just suck it up. Could Veil be good? For what? They're mono white. Why would it? What situation would Veil be good? All right, play first. I don't really like keeping a one lander against the Mana Denial deck. And also, yeah, we have to mulligan this. Sand's also really, really bad if they have turn one Aether Vial. If they have turn one Vial, our cards just don't do anything. I can't keep this either. All right, well, this is just the way it is, huh? Yeah, I mean, I don't know if this matchup's bad, but I definitely had some unfortunate mulligans this, this match, so... We're probably going to end up losing this one. Yeah, I thought about Ashiok too for Stoneforge, but... Yeah, they always have Vile. When do, chat, Death and Taxes and Turn 1 Vile, name a more iconic duo. There isn't one. That's the joke. That's the joke. I actually think I want to play Ren and Six here because of Thalia... If I play Stoneforge and they play Thalia, I, I won't be able to play my Renin 6. So I think this is more important. Elves, 4 mana, and company? Yeah, that one too, maybe. No, it only gives you Hexproof from Blue and Black Permanence. Or Blue and Black. Phyrexian Revoker. Okie dokie. Glad I played Renin 6. Mm -mm. I'm just going to jam tracker. Uh, am I? Yeah, no fear. You can go. They have Skyclave, they have Skyclave. It is what it is. I could play Stoneforge and get Batter Skull, but if they have Skyclave on Stoneforge, it's still pretty bad for me. So, And they have Giver. The nuts. The actual nuts. A 2 1 and a 1 2 in the same turn. Unbeatable. Ran into mono white twice. Mono white what? Main phasing the path, huh? I don't know. I don't know about that one. I don't know why they wouldn't upkeep that. There's no reason not to upkeep it, right? Oh, taxes, yeah. <clears throat> I'll take a fetch lane off the top, please. Pretty good. Blobfish XL, thank you for the follow. Do you have a second path? Okay, they don't have a second path. So now I can get a white source and play double Stoneforge? I like that. I guess I could path instead of playing the second Stoneforge? Hmm. I'm trying to think of how this goes here. So if I play double Stoneforge get it's kind of awkward because they can just block and get protection 
But maybe I just play this a little bit more patient. Double Stone Forge, next turn Path of Giver, the turn after, equip swords. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to get Fire Ice and... Fire Ice and Feast and Famine? Would I rather have Feast and Famine or Batter Skull? I think I would actually maybe rather just have Batter Skull. Yeah, I think so. And we'll just pass. Yeah, Omnath doing Omnath things. That was a disgusting turn. Lost a 5 out of Dylan on some crazy combo deck with that red legendary creature as an artifact in the backside. Oh, yeah, he was playing the Modern Red Bergy deck. Me and him talked about that for a little bit. He was playing that for, for a while. Deck looked pretty good. We uh, He showed me... He was working on it a bunch. Okay. Giving Giver... They're giving that protection from white. And they're killing red and six when they already have it revoked. That's kind of weird, champ. I don't know if I understand that. So they obviously have Flicker Wisp, but... Okay. Or I guess it could be Skyclave. It's not bad. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna attack for four, I think. I'm just gonna attack for four and just leave all my mid up. Just putting both these equipments. I'm chilling. Can we call this list Omni Slash? Why is it Omni Slash? What's the slash? Oh, Omnath plus Blades. I gotcha. I gotcha. Gideon, ally of Zendikar. Okay. Cool list of the trackers, the best option for the slot, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, the thing is I've been talking about is tracker is really good if you're already going to play Omnath and Renin 6, which when you're playing red cards, you kind of want to play Omnath and Renin 6 anyway. So tracker just makes sense with all of those cards, you know? This is kind of a gross turn. Like the devil's in your hands. What do you think of a one-sided sweeper in the board like Windsor Settle for creature decks? Eh, I don't think you need it. With four path and four anthonice, do you really are you really short on removal spells? I don't think you need that. Alright, so we just go Sword equip Stoneforge, send Stoneforge at them, these two at Gideon. And then see what they do. Then we're just chilling. So they probably flicker. Or Skyclave. The Omnath? I'm not sure what they're going to do. Yeah, that could be too, because they have Ghost Quarters. Sure, that's fine. So, what, they double block the Omnath and chump block the Stoneforge? I guess I'll path. Actually, do I want a path? What if I just let this trade happen? I just hold up Spell Queller. And then I can end step Spell Queller, untap, equip Sword to Spell Queller, and slam the Gideon? I guess it's better to keep the Omnath in play. I don't know what's right here. I'm not sure if this is right, but... I kind of wanted to just play Spell Queller there. I don't know. I 
I feel like people are split on which sword is best main if you're running only two equips. I, I just play three. <laughs> Gotta play three. Gotta play three. All right. You have a knight. Exactly. So, I think I'm just going to go. Omnath at Gideon, Stoneforge at them, see what they do. I want them to act first. Then I'm probably just going to pick up the Batter Skull and put it back in with Stoneforge this turn. We'll see what they do. Alright, so they have a Skyclave then. So they're obviously not letting Gideon die. They have Path. Oh, I got that covered. Got that one covered. All right, they're off it. Game three. I think I played that game pretty well. So I hate these mana leaks, but again, at the same time, I also hate every card in my sideboard. <laughs> we just don't have, we're like two cards short for this matchup. So maybe that means we want to look, really look at the sideboard and see if there's a card that we can cut that also has utility against other decks that for the, the you know, where the card that we're cutting, if we cut that card, is there a card that's also good against those decks but can be brought in here, you know? Yeah, I can at least tag Gideon, which is, like, not the most unreasonable thing. How do we finish the last one? This is the first league. We're 3 you know. This is game three of the first league still. Uh, this hand's great. Turn two, turn two tracker. Definitely keep this. True. Always had the vial, huh? Always have the vial. All right, fine. That's how it's going to be. Oh, yeah, MTG bot is a liar. Oh, well, the record that's normally above me, like right there, is not even here. So I think they're just having some issues. Well, it's not necessarily building attack as with taxes as a target. It's more so just trying to get some different utility out of your sideboard slots, you know? Like, we're not necessarily building a sideboard with taxes in mind. We're just trying to think, are there options that we could play that happen to be good against taxes that are also good against other decks, you know? I thought about that, Freed. I did think about that. Uh, two. Yeah, this is going to suck if they have Arbiter. <laughs> so maybe I'm supposed to crack one fetch. I mean, it would probably be some sort of, like, disenchant effect. Like, somebody mentioned earlier Knight of Autumn. Knight of Autumn is a card you can bring in against Burn, but it's also insane against this deck, you know? What am I doing this turn? You got Batter Skull, right? <clears throat> hmm. I think I'm just playing Omnath. Try and go ham next turn. my alternative my alternative is like stone forge for batter skull hold up two mana to eat to sack a clue i don't love that i'm just gonna jam omnath i can't really attack first because even if i make this bigger than the germ token they just give the germ pro green so attacking just doesn't really accomplish anything they have okay i don't know why they didn't main phase this i kind of thought they had an arbiter but they should have just main phase this because now i can just pay like that was just such a bad play and now i think i maybe just don't forge here because i because i could pay for the arbiter because because i'm ignoring the arbiter effect right now 
So I think I just want to Stoneforge here. Yeah. Let's get Temple Garden, I think. No. Hallowed Fountain. I'm just going to get Batter Skull. And the nice thing about this is they missed a land drop. So if they want to Ghost Quarter me, they have to, you know, they have to be so far by, behind on lands because they already missed a land drop. But we got to path them. Yeah, but I think I can probably get use out of, like, they're probably going to end up tapping out at some point anyways, right? Like, imagine if they don't draw a land if they Ghost Quarter me, then I could just path their Giver. It's, it ends up being the same thing, right? Yeah, also, if I, well, if I path, I would have to path the Giver. So I can't, I can't path the Arbiter because they have an active Giver. Maybe I was supposed to get the Red Source. I didn't really want them to Ghost Quarter the Red Source, but... They have Ball. Sure. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, maybe I messed up. Maybe I'm supposed to get the red source anyways. I didn't get the red source because I didn't want them to ghost quarter me. But maybe I was supposed to. Because now I'm kind of in a really bad spot. I mean, I could path the giver... Put in the batter skull, block their germ token, play hierarch. <clears throat> well, I can just path the giver. So I think I'm going to start with that. I think I'm going to start by pathing giver. And then I could just play a hierarch, leave up two mana. I think I messed up by not getting the red source. Sure, that's fine. Protection from green. Okay. You may proceed. Why not Ren 6 and Path the Arbiter? Ren and 6. Ren and 6, Path Arbiter? Sarah Avenger chat. They have Sarah Avenger in their deck. No. Tree Path next turn is another land. Let's them equip Maul and Batter Skull. Well, they don't get to search because they have the Arbiter. Well, they messed up. They're giving us a chance for some unknown reason. Maybe they just have Flicker Wisp anyways. Doesn't really matter. Hey, that was a frustrating game. I feel like this matchup should be good, but I don't know. Maybe I... I mean, obviously I messed up by not getting the Red Source, but I was really worried about them Ghost Courting my Red Source and not having access to one. So, I don't know. Tough game. Uh, I think it should be... A really easy matchup, but I think our draw just kind of lined up, and they just had the nuts every game. So really unfortunate, but if you're watching on YouTube, hope you enjoyed the content, and I'll see you back in just a little bit for the fifth and final round.